All right, here we have the chemical equation for photosynthesis. It may look familiar to you. Uh, we have carbon dioxide reacting with water to produce glucose and oxygen. And we can see in here we have 2.808 kJ. That kJ stands for kilojoules. And what we need to be able to do is identify this equation as being endothermic or exothermic. First thing we need to do is understand what this chemical equation is telling us. The chemical equation is a representation of a chemical reaction. And what's happening is this set of chemicals over here, the reactants, remember reactants are the things on the left side of the equation. They're the things that are going into the equation or into the reaction. They're the things that are reacting in the reaction. A lot of different ways to remember it. So those are our, our reactants. And then the products are on the right side of the equation. These are the things that are being produced in the reaction. They are the product. Um, we notice this unit of energy here is on the left side of the arrow with the reactants. And that is telling us that this reaction required or used 2.808 kilojoules of energy to happen. And in fact, we know that in photosynthesis, energy from the sun is used to make carbon dioxide and oxygen. So that is how much energy was used to make this much glucose and release this much oxygen. So as a result, this reaction is endothermic because our heat energy is being absorbed by the reaction, it's going into the reaction. Now, if this unit of energy was over here on the right side with the products, then that heat would be being produced by the reaction because it would be with the products.